The Outliner is a piece of interface and a tool in Maya that's used for categorization and organization of the elements in your scene. To open the Outliner, you should go to Windows and select Outliner. I suggest you put it on the shelf by pressing Ctrl, Shift and middle click. I already have it, but it's very useful, so you should have it on your shelf. You can uh, then drag it around or dock it. You can dock it by dragging it to one of these fugues in the Maya's interface. You just hover until you get the blue line. So you can dock it and undock it by dragging it off. So what it does, it contains a list of objects in the scene. Here you can select them individually, see information about them, rename them by double clicking. You can also group them by selecting multiple, like let's select this two-handed sword, warhammer and an axe by holding control and left clicking on each of them and then pressing control G. Now you have them in one group that can be transformed as a singular mesh. You can also rename the group. If you collapse it, you will see that they are nested in it. You can hide the elements by pressing Ctrl H and then you will see that it's it has a darker gray instead of the lighter gray color. If you press on the hidden object and then press Shift H, it will reappear. It works for multiple objects as well. You can also hide a group and then hide it by Shift H. You can also nest objects to be a child of a parent. In this case, I nested an arrow under a quiver. And we can now nest this parent to another, like this. So now we have a chain of children. You can also name a lot of objects in a bulk by selecting them and then pressing. It's probably collapsed for you, but you have this little arrow here. You can press it and then select the rename here. And you can just name the weapon, let's say, underscore one. And it will add corresponding numbers ascendingly to each object. If you remove parts of a mesh or add some new parts to a mesh, like this, for example, you will see that the object in the hierarchy gets like the object becomes a group that gets split into the meshes that you newly created and also you have this transform like residue but it all goes away if you delete history you should always be in control of where your objects are grouped or how they are ordered in the scene so you so you can take them out of this group by selecting both of them and then holding middle click and dragging them above then you can delete this old group and call them in a new way experts you should always keep your scene clean and organized and always name your objects and make sure that they have no residual elements that you don't need or anything because when you export your mesh to an engine or whatever it's going to use this name specifically and you should always be aware of that